Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important, as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, one of the things I'm most proud of are the interviews we do. And no matter where I go, people stop me and always talk about our interviews. Well, I think in, for a long time, this one I'm probably most proud of. Uh, given the recent events in Florida and the, res and the after effect of these events, we reached out to the area schools and thought it would be really something to have high school students who were directly affected by the events in Florida come on and give us their perspectives. And before I even pick up the phone, I got a call from this person right here, Izzy Rutke, who called me and said, would it be okay if we came on and talked about this situation? And obviously we were very excited to have you here. And she brought along two other students with her. It's Joe Vesic and Joe McDonald. And welcome, all three of you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. It's, it's, it's really something to have you uh, here. I know it's a very serious topic. Mm -hmm. And I know that particularly today, because the students are going back to school in Florida. Mm -hmm. But you want to know something? We have to look at this and think about what we can do. And when I talked to you on the phone, Izzy, that's what I was most impressed with first, was that you were calling me to find out a way to communicate how you feel about this situation what you intend to do about it, not in a partisan way, but in a way that helps society, that helps your generation have your voices heard. Mm -hmm. So ladies first, Izzy, why'd you call me? Uh, I think it's so important for everyone to have their voices be heard because if we stay silent about issues that affect us, then nothing will happen. There will be no change if we don't speak up and speak for what's right. So we wanted to have an event that would let our voices be heard and we wanted as many people as possible to hear why we're doing a school walkout against gun violence and just to know everyone would see what we're thinking and why we wanted to have this. I've got it. Now, uh, you're all seniors, correct? Yes. yes. And I think you were telling me that you're really involved with either law, pre-law, or political science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you're already consciously aware of wanting to choose that path in your life. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Joe, how does this fit into what you want to do? Well, I think it really gives an opportunity to explore our civic duties, um, wow. to be able to protest, to be able to have that right. Um, and it really just, it's really interesting because we are students, we are the voices, and we are change. And I think that's really what it comes down to. It's our ability to create the change that we desire. And with us in the upcoming election being able to vote, it really gives us the opportunity to give the pre-stages of showing that we demand that our voices be heard. <laughs> yes, I, I hear you. Yeah. I, I absolutely mm -hmm. hear you. Um, why are you involved, Joe? Well, you know, it really struck home for all of us. Uh, we had an incident earlier this fall. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you never really understand uh, until it really happens to you guys. You know, we obviously have the incident. So right. all of us are very passionate about this whole thing. So I bet. You know, uh, the boomers, for which that's the generation I belong to, way back when. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. But we were the big wave in the population coming. Uh, we had Vietnam. We took to the streets. We took civic duty and civic responsibility very seriously. Um, I see that happening again. It's very interesting, if you're sitting in my shoes, to see how passionate, how articulate you are, and how driven you are, not to just say, we're going to get together one day and have an event, and then we're going back to our lives. Mm -hmm. I think your lives have changed. Yeah, I, um, I really think that persistence and resistance is really the um, best way to go about this entire thing like we will demand change until we actually see something done and if that means that this one event doesn't really solve everything that we desire we will keep fighting and we will keep pushing mm -hmm. for what we believe is right now let's let's talk about what you believe is right because you know it's so easy in this sort of divisive spirit that we uh, I, think I hate to use the word spirit this divisive situation we happen to be in on the national political scene you're either for the second amendment rights or you're against the second amendment rights that's not the case right no. 
Uh, it's not at all the case because all of us, we 100% realize that the Second Amendment, it's in the Bill of Rights, it's our constitutional right to bear arms. So if we don't want to infringe on anybody's constitutional rights, we just want to make sure that people who do buy guns receive more extensive background checks because we do not want any student or teacher or faculty member to ever feel unsafe at school again. And we want to ensure the, be the most safe environment for everyone. Well, I've got you. Now, uh, in preparation for this, I read the Second Amendment. Uh, a lot of talk about uh, I can own any gun I want or whatever. If you look at the original intent of the Second Amendment, it was really to, to protect the ind the independence of this of the birth of our nation. Um, how do you feel about assault weapons? I think we should have definitely have limits on weapons of war. You mm -hmm. know, I, I don't I don't personally don't see the need for them, but mm -hmm. um, you know. I feel like some people take advantage of the Second Amendment, if anything. Yes, I hear you. Yeah. Sure, how do you feel about that, Joe? Um, I really think that there should be limits on assault weapons and weapons of war. I mean, they're interchangeable and they are the same thing. But um, I really do think that there needs to be limits because the Second Amendment, people always interpret that a certain way and we really should make it clear that weapons of war don't really, isn't really applicable to the mm -hmm. Second Amendment. Right, so this, this takes it out of the political realm and just says that the Second Amendment does protect the right to bear arms, yeah. right? If an individual feels that it's necessary for them to have a, a firearm in their home or something like that. But I would agree with you about weapons of war and assault weapons. So I would imagine then, I don't need to speak for you, but better background checks. Yes. Absolutely. And ban on assault weapons. Mm -hmm. They seem perfectly yeah. reasonable to me. Which I, I struggle with how some people disagree with that because it is very ideologically moderate. You know, yes. we're not trying to infringe on anyone's Second Amendment right again. So Yes, I've got you. Now, locally on the 14th, you are doing, you're having an event. Yes, so on March 14th, which is a Wednesday, we will be having a school walkout. And there will be walkouts at the same time uh, throughout the whole country. And so this walkout will be in... Uh, peaceful protests against gun violence in schools and in other locations. And so it'll be at 10 a.m. and last for 17 minutes for the 17 victims of the recent Parkland shooting. Mm -hmm. So we just want everyone to realize that that was an event that affects everyone in the country, not just the students in Parkland. And if we start now and do something about it, this is not a moment, it's a movement is the best way to say it. And this is not our only day. We will not give up after this. We just want to start here with everyone in our school and get everyone as involved as possible. Now, uh, money that you do raise from it is going to a cause, right? Yes. Um, the, um, it's the March in D.C., March for Our Lives. It's, yes. We have a GoFundMe page set up through our, it's the students that made it. We've raised over $500 so far. And then we right. also have t-shirts being made. They're mm -hmm. long sleeve or short sleeve. And mm -hmm. anyone can <laughs> buy them within the <laughs> district. Um, and part of the proceeds go towards that same organization. I've got it. Um, would any of you uh, plan on attending the March in Washington on March 24? I actually am planning on <laughs> attending it with you my are. family, yes. Mm -hmm. That's good, with your family. That's a wonderful way to describe that. Um, the March on the 14th, no offense to any of us, but it's really students and teachers, correct, yeah. yes. are participating in this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, that's, that that makes a statement, doesn't it, Joe? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like you said earlier, symbolism does mean a lot. So um, yes. the 17 minutes obviously means a lot for the 17 victims. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just for security reasons, it's only mm -hmm. students and faculty. But mm -hmm. um, we are trying to, I mean, we love the community support. We've been overwhelming community support with uh, teachers have been great helping us. But it is fully student-driven. Uh, it's student-driven yep. as well as it should be. Yes. Uh, they're coming, this generation. We should listen to them. Uh, any of us that were there, kind of the last round of this in the 60s, recognize the power of their voices, recognize the power of what they're talking about. And I'd, you'd be hard-pressed not to be impressed with how articulate and how strongly they feel about this. Uh, our advice to your generation is don't give up, stay with it. You're not asking for anything radical, you're asking for the protections that I think that all of us as part of this democracy mm -hmm. deserve.
and I really applaud your efforts. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. You. You're welcome, Joe. Pleasure to meet you. Izzy, great to meet you. you. Joe, to meet you. Yes, well. Great to meet you. <laughs> and we will be following up with you, and you have a home here anytime you want to come on and talk Thank about you so what's much. going on. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.